You know, I love pastors. Uh, I'm a fourth generation pastor in my family. My father was a pastor, my grandfather was a pastor, my great-grandfather was a pastor. My great-great-grandfather was led to Christ by Charles Spurgeon in England and sent to America as a church planter. My brother-in-law is a church planter. My fa uh, father-in-law is a church planter. Uh, my uncles were all church planters. I grew up among pastors. I love pastors. And I've given my life to encouraging them and sharing with them. And, and uh, we're all in this together. Now, the subject I was asked to speak on this morning as we close this great convention is refreshed by the heart of God. Refreshed by the heart of God. Anytime we move an inch away from the heart of God, we start to dry up. Anytime we move an inch away from the passion of God, we start to dry up. I love this title, Refreshed by the Heart of God. The Bible says uh, that David encouraged himself in the Lord. He didn't sit down and watch Oprah. He didn't go shoot some hoops. He re encouraged himself in the Lord. And that's what I want us to do as we close this morning. I want us to clo uh, look at ourselves and, and say, what is it that causes us to lose heart? Because everybody loses heart if you're gonna be in ministry. From time to time, you're gonna go through periods where the tide is out in your life. It may be out in your life right now, but I will tell you this, I live by Laguna Beach. It always comes back in. The tide will go out in your life many times, but it always comes back in. Hang on. I never read the book, but I love the title. Tough people, tough times never last, but tough people do. And, and so the tide may be out in your life. You may have lost heart. The Bible tells us to pray and not lose heart. And Paul talks about how we do not lose heart. So what is it that causes us to lose heart in ministry? And uh, how do I get it back? Well, the classic passage on this is actually a, a book written by, not a pastor, but by a layman, Nehemiah. If you have a Bible, turn to Nehemiah chapter 4. Nehemiah chapter 4. We're going to look at the causes of losing heart and the cure, how to have my heart refreshed by the heart of God. Nehemiah chapter 4 is the story of rebuilding the wall around Jerusalem. You know this story, that uh, they had been sent back to Jerusalem to begin uh, uh, building. And uh, the Bible tells us in Nehemiah chapter 4, down in about uh, verse 6, so we rebuilt the wall until the entire wall was joined together up to half its height for the people had a will to keep working. In other words, they had heart. But just a few verses later, down in verse 10, it says, in Judah it was said, the strength of the laborer is now giving out. It's, it's failing. And there is so much rubble. And we will never be able to rebuild the wall. In 11. And our enemies say, they won't know or see anything uh, until we are among them, and we're gonna kill them and stop the work. Notice the difference. It said first in verse 6, the people are working with great heart, great energy. Everybody has energy at the beginning of a project. We're, we've been doing a thing at, at, at Saddleback Church called the Daniel Plan, where this is kind of a funny story. I, um, I was, uh, about a year ago, I was baptizing. And uh, we baptized after every service at the Saddleback, and I baptized once a month. And on that month, we had had a huge membership class and on that day, I personally baptized 869 people. It took me four and a half hours. We have a giant outdoor baptism pool, and I was baptizing 869 people. Uh, and at 150 pounds a person, I'm lifting about 50,000 pounds, putting them underwater and bringing them back up. And uh, along about number 500, I had a thought, and it wasn't a thought that pastors should have. Wasn't a very spiritual thought. And as I had been baptizing about 500 of my new members, I, this thought went through my mind, man, we're all fat. <laughs> I mean, this isn't your father's saddleback when we were all thin yuppies when we started this thing. 
So we're all overweight. So I did some studying. I said, but wait a minute, I'm overweight. I'm a terrible example of this. And I can't expect people to get in shape if, um, if, if I'm not in shape. So uh, I went and I got, I won't tell you the whole story, but I got three doctors, well-known doctors, uh, and I put myself under their care and I said, help me create a plan. We're gonna call it the Daniel plan based on uh, uh, the story of Daniel 1 where Daniel says, we'll eat the right stuff, you eat the junk food and we'll see who ends up healthier. And uh, I, I got up the following Sunday and I said to my people, you guys, I need to repent. I said, you know, I'm a purpose-driven eater. <laughs> and, you, and you, as my loving church give me plenty to eat. And I said, I've only gained, uh, uh, you know, two, three pounds a year, but I've been your pastor for 30 years. <laughs> I need to lose 90 pounds. And, uh, I, and so the following Sunday I said, anybody else wanna sign up? Well, I figured maybe two or 300 people, 12,000 signed up. I won't go into all the program, but we set up a website you can go to, danielplan.com, and you can put in your numbers, and there's the five things you need to know, and you track it, and our church has lost 260,000 pounds in the last year. So we're having church decline right now, okay? We have more room for visitors than we've had in years. It's amazing. Well, it's a welcoming church because you could actually get in, but, you know, there's always a gr lot of enthusiasm at the start. But of course, as the year goes on, and now we're in year two, I'm finding fewer people keeping up with it. Okay? Now notice it says here in verse four, we rebuilt the wall until it was joined to half its height. So there's a lot of enthusiasm until you get halfway through the project. But that's where the discouragement sets in, at the halfway point. You often get discouraged halfway into your ministry. You often get discouraged halfway into the year, right about now. You often get discouraged halfway into your marriage, halfway into a new job. It is at the half point you start to get discouraged. You start to lose heart. If you're climbing up at Mount Everest, halfway up the mountain, you start going, do I really wanna do this? Because I've got another half to go up and then I've got all the way to come back. It is at the halfway point that Satan tempts us to give up, to lose heart. So it says, we built it till half its height, and we began to lose heart. Now what caused them to lose heart, specifically? Well, it says here four things. Verse 10, first it says, the strength of the labor, verse 10, is failing. If you're to keep in notes, the first cause of you losing heart in your ministry is fatigue. The first cause, the first reason people get discouraged and fail to finish what they start is fatigue. We simply run out of energy. And in this wall, the wall builders had worked so hard, they're physically exhausted, they're weary, they're worn out, they're worn down, and they said the strength of the laborers is giving out. 